Hey guys, it's Jack the Modern Coder back again with another Git video. So it's been a couple months since my last coding video and I figured this week I'd take a few minutes and talk about some of the different ways Git allows us to rewrite history. So there's quite a few ways, but specifically we're gonna go into amending commits, rewording commits, deleting commits, reordering commits, squashing commits, and then splitting commits. That's quite a few techniques, but I'm gonna go through them each one by one. So if, you're, if you prefer to jump straight to one of them, you can check the description. I've left a link to the timestamps. So you can jump straight to that part of the video, or I left a link to my written article, which has all the commands written out. So you can kind of use it as a reference if that's more your speed. All right, so let's get right into it. So we'll start with amend. So if I run git log one line here, we'll just check out what I'm working with. So I have my master branch and I've split off to work on a feature branch. And the last commit I've made is I've committed the about me page and that's all looks pretty fine, but if I run git status, you can see that I have two files that really look like that want to belong in that about me page commit. So I could either unstage the previous commit and then recommit everything. I could commit again and then squash the commits together, but git provides us with some better option, which is amend. So to get started with amend, I'm going to just stage both of these files like normal. So I'm going to run git add about me profile picture. So I've staged them. If I run git status again, you can see they're staged. And now when I run the amend command, I'm going to tell git I want to take these two staged files and then stuff them into the last commit. So if I run git commit dash dash amend dash dash no edit. What the no edit part's going to do is it's just going to say and tell git I don't want to reword the commit message. So if I run this, you can see that our commit history is the same. The only thing that is different is that git changed the ID of the last commit and that just shows that it's rewriting history but everything else is pretty much the same. And then if I run git status, you can see both of those files are now committed and added to that last commit. So that's amend. All right, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about rewording commit messages. So let's take a look at where we're at so far. Okay, so right now I have my master branch with four commits. Everything looks pretty fine except for this commit right here. I made pretty egregious spelling errors. I misspelled front page and then fix. So I want to get that taken care of. We can't use amend right from the command line because amend is only going to operate on the last commit back from head. And our commit that we want to operate on is two back. So what we're going to do is take advantage of the plethora of options that interactive rebase provides to us. So to get started, we're going to run git rebase dash I head tilde two. And what this is going to do, it's going to tell git I want to operate upon the last two commits back from head. So I run this command. You can see the git open up my default terminal text editor, which in this case is Vim and most like for you Vim as well, and present us with some options. So at the top, you can see our two commits back from head and then a big old comment right here with some of the options that we have available to us. So right now we're going to look at this reword option to get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change pick to reword in front of that commit that's misspelled right here. And so that's going to do is going to tell git that I want to operate on this commit. So all I have to do now is just save and close the file. So if I'm in vim, that's command or that's escape colon WQ and hit enter. So now git is going to pop me up into another vim window and allow me now to edit that commit message, which is right at the top. So all I have to do is then press I to enter insert mode again and just change those spelling errors. So after I've changed the spelling errors, I'm going to again save and quit this file. So commit escape colon WQ, enter. And now you can see Git has successfully rebased and updated my commit message. Let's see if it worked. So if I run git log one line, there you go. You can see that now my commit message is different and it's fixed. And again, you'll notice that we have a different commit ID because Git did rewrite the history of this commit, but everything else is the same. So as you saw, Interactive Rebase had quite a few other options we could we could work with. And so let's talk about removing or deleting commits. So let's take a look at my history. So I have a master branch, two commits, and I've split off to work on my feature branch. My feature branch has three commits. Um, but this commit right here in the middle, uh, I think I want to get rid of the, the idea of this readme altogether. I'd rather this commit be gone. So once again, we're going to take advantage of Interactive Rebase to get this done. So we're going to first start off by running git rebase dash i for interactive head tilde and then we're going to run three just for for an example example purposes so git's going to pop up again our default terminal text editor which is most likely vim and present us with the last three commits back from head right here at the top as you can see this commit right here in the middle is the one i'd like to delete 
And so I can take a look at my options. And really what I'd like to do is just drop this commit. I want to remove it all together. So I'm going to press I to enter insert mode. And once again, change this prefix here from pick to drop. And all this is going to do is going to say, hey, git, I want to drop this commit. So we're going to save and close the file, which is again, escape colon WQ if you're in Vim, hit enter. And that's all there is to it. So if we run git log one line again, you can see that that commit is now gone. And that's really all there is to it. So deleting commits is pretty easy. And thankfully, reordering commits is also just as easy. So if we run git log one line, you can see that I have the same structure as last time, my master branch with two commits, and then my future branch with three. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to reorder these last two commits, and I'd like to just flip them around. So we're going to use interact rebase to do this again. So we run git rebase dash i head tilde two, and we'll tell git I want to operate on my last two commits back from head. Hit enter. So as you can see, my commits are here at the top. And unlike some of the other techniques, we're not going to actually use any of these commands here below. What we can do is that we can just literally just change the order of these first two lines and Git will reorder these commands or these commits automatically. So we're going to press I to enter insert mode. And we're going to just pick off that last commit, put it right here at the top, and then just go ahead and delete the line. Now, yes, I know that there are shortcuts in Vim for cutting a whole line and pasting it and reordering lines, but I'm not very good at Vim. It's not my default text editor, so maybe cut me some slack. Anyway, so after we've reordered the ordering of the messages here at the top, all we have to do is, again, save and close this file, and Git will automatically rewrite history and move those files around. So if we run git log one line again, you can see that now both of these commits have been reordered. All right, let's start to get into some fun stuff now. Let's talk about squashing commits. So we can see my commit history here. I have my master branch and I split off to work on a feature branch. And as you can see by these commit messages, I've created three commits that are all related to the same feature. I've added an API endpoint. And all three of these commits are fine on their own, but I'd really rather them just be in the same commit. They make be, would be a lot cleaner that way. So we can use once again use interactive rebase to help us out with this. So to start off, we're going to enter interactive rebase. We're running git rebase dash i head tilde three. And once again, this tells git we want to operate upon the last three commits back from head, which are these guys right here. So we hit enter. Git's going to once again pop up our default terminal text editor with the commits at the top. So as you can see right here on the bottom, git provides two options for combining commits together. So I have a whole other video about the squash workflow. So feel free to check that out if you want more details on squash. But for right now, I don't care about preserving those extraneous commit log messages. So I'm just going to use fix up. Now fix up indicates to get that I want to meld the commit into the previous one and then discard its log message, which is pretty much what we want to do here. So here are three commits. As you can see, Git adds them in reverse order. So if I want to go ahead and press I to enter insert mode, I can change the prefixes of the second commits from pick to fix up. And this tells Git we want to take both of these commits and just push them up into this first commit here and disregard their log messages. OK, so once I've changed pick to fix up for those last two, all I have to do is once again save and close the file. So in Vim, it's escape colon WQ, and I hit Enter. And you can see Git has successfully rebased my commits. And if I run git log, you can see they've all been squashed into this last commit. And once again, if we put these logs side by side, you can notice that the git commit IDs are different, just showing once again, the git is actually rewriting the history. And that's all there is to it for squashing. All right, last, let's talk about something really fun. Let's talk about splitting commits. So it can be the case down the line that you decide certain changes would be better off if they were committed separately. And this tree is a good example of that. So I run git log one line, we can see what we're working with here. So I have a master branch with with um, two commits and then I've split off to work on my feature branch with three commits. And you can see that this second commit here really would kind of make sense if they were split apart. You know, the nav bar and the bug fix are sort of separate features and I'd like them to live in separate commits. First, we're gonna use interactive rebase once again to make this happen, but it's gonna be a little bit more complicated than the operations we've done in the past. But sort of stick with me, a video is actually a really great way to explain this. So we're gonna run git rebase dash I for interactive mode head tilde three. And this is going to tell Git once again, we want to operate on those last three commits back from head. 
So we're going to run it. So Git's going to open up our default terminal text editor, which is most likely Vim. And you can see here at the top, we have our three commits. And down here, we have some options. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this edit command, which is going to tell Git that as it's rebasing to pause right here on this commit so we can do some operations on it. So we're going to change pick to edit for that one we want to split apart. And then we're going to save and close this file. So when we do this, Git will start executing any rebase operations I specified. And since I left the other commits alone, it's going to skip those, but it's going to break me out into this special rebasing branch right on that commit we wanted to edit. So if I run git status, you can see I have an interactive rebase in progress. And this commit right here is the one I want to edit. So the first thing I want to do is I want to unstage this commit and unstage all the files that were added to it. So to do that, I'm just going to run git reset head and then caret. And if I hit enter, what this is going to do is it's going to unstage all those files. So if I clear and I run git status again, you can see I'm still on the interactive rebasing branch here, but I have these three files now uncommitted. So now I'm free to commit these files in any way I want. So what I really want to do is I want to take these, add, add the navbar commits to a new commit, and I want to take the analytics, which is going to be my bug fix, and add that to a new commit. And I can do that like any normal workflow with using just git add and git commit. So first I'm going to clear my screen just so you can see it better. I'm going to run git add navbar.html and then navbar.css. Those are now staged. I'm going to commit these to my added navbar. Now I'm going to run git add analytics and then commit that to a separate commit, which would be my bug fix commit. Great. So after I've done that, I've created now two separate commits instead of one. If I want to get back to this rebasing operation and finish it up, get off this special branch, all I have to do is run git rebase dash dash continue and git will continue the rebasing process. So now you can see I'm back on my original feature branch. If I run git log dash dash one line, you can see the other commits have been left unchanged. However, this commit in the middle that used to be one is now split off into two commits. And that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope everything made sense. Um, as always, if you have a question, leave it in the comments. And especially for this video, if you prefer a written guide, you can check the link in the description. I've added, a, I've written a blog post that goes through each of these commands and sort of explains them step by step, just like I did here in the video. So I will catch you in the next one. See you later.